12 degrees. Again, the heat is just intense here. We're just about to pour the bronze. There's the thermometer going in. They've tested the temperature. The man that just hit that steel tong did that in order to help the secure the crucible in the tongs. They have to fill every reservoir on each mold clear to the top. That provides the maximum pressure to get as much bronze into the piece as possible. Wow, look at that smoke coming off. And here we are with the pneumatic hammer, knocking off as much of the investment mold as we can. And now we're gonna cut off all the gates, sprues, and vents with a plasma cutter. One of my favorite events is where we go into the sand blaster and we see exactly what the bronze is going to look like. There's almost always some problems or flaws with every bronze, and here we are trying to repair those flaws with the welder. We've got to weld up these holes, and then we need to take a high-speed grinder with a carbide bit and grind out, smooth out that weld, and put all the details back in. Here we are smoothing with a wire wheel. Everything is painstakingly taken care of so that everything looks perfect. There's the finished bronze. This is my favorite part, the patina. We're going into a liver of sulfur bath, which turns the bronze black. And then it's rubbed out with an abrasive sponge. This brings up all the highlights. Now you can really start to see the details. The next part is done with acid chemicals. The liver of sulfur forms a basis for these chemicals to stick to and we use a torch and heat the bronze up to 500 degrees and now we're using ferric nitrate and turning the bronze brown. Here we're using cupric nitrate. These are chemicals that I made myself with nitric acid, copper, and nails. Once we turn these leaves green, we'll go back over and, and use some of the ferric nitrate and we get some beautiful oranges. Now we have a nearly finished bronze. It looks so good. It's important now that we stop this oxidation process, and to do this, we have to coat the whole thing with paste wax while it's still warm so that the paste wax will ooze into every pore and cover the entire piece. And here we see the completed sculpture. Notice the contrast between the transparent French brown and the opaque multicolored leaves. These details all come together to create what I call nestled in.